In today's linear algebra video, we're going to be taking a look at how you could calculate the inverse of a matrix. We'll go over a little bit of the background behind it. We'll jump into a two by two manual calculation and then go into some of the properties of the inverse. After that, we'll jump into some coding where I show you how you can calculate the inverse or just a line of code and then also show you the different properties uh, with the help of NumPy. So with that out of the way, let's start learning. All right. So a little bit more information about the inverse of matrices. Uh, you like use this with square matrices and the determinant of the matrix must be non-zero. Uh, the reason why is if we jump to this equation down below, right, we have one divided by the determinant. Well, you can't have one divided by zero. Um, so that's why I, the matrix cannot be singular, right? I need to be able to invert it. And also, since I'm down here, we'll talk about this equation. So typically in notation for two by two, you have A, B, C, D. And what you'll notice is we swap A and D and then we negate B and C. So that is gonna be the difference over here, right? You take one divide by the determinant, you multiply that over here and uh, swap A and D and negate B and C. Also not covering this in today's video, but inverse matrices act as a matrix division when solving equations. Uh, it's one of the use cases for this, right? And you would essentially multiply each side by the inverse. Um, we'll go over one of the properties uh, towards the end of the slides side of things, which this will make a little bit more sense, right? Um, but it's a little bit of a sneak peek. So let's calculate a two by two inverse, right? Let's say we have seven, four, five, seven. The first step you want to do is find the determinant. If it's zero, there's no inverse. So let's find that we multiply seven by seven, right? And then minus 4.5, we find the determinant value to be 29. And then all you have to do is apply, well, I just showed you, right? So uh, we swap technically A and D. Now in this, they're both seven, so no difference. And then we negate B and C, and then we divide it by uh, 29 because the determinant is 29. And that is gonna be our final answer uh, for the inverse, right? So again, Right, swap, negate, one over determinant. We found the determinant to be 29. So we multiply it one over 29 for each of these, negate these, and then swap those over there. Um, some properties that you should be aware of, right? And why uh, the first, when I was talking about um, using this for division, right? So you can see, a raised to negative one, which by the way, I labeled all these. I is identity matrix, A is matrix one, B is matrix two, right? A raised to negative one times A is equal to I, which is our identity matrix, right? Again, very useful when solving equations. You can see AB raised to the negative one is equal to B raised to the negative one times A raised to the negative one. A raised to the T, raised to the negative one is equal to a raised to the negative one raised to the t. Then you have a k a raised to the negative one equals one divided by k times a raised to the negative one. And lastly over here, a raised to the negative one raised to the negative one. Well, that's just your original matrix. So I'll be showing you all of these in Python code. Um, much easier than having slides for each of these over here. And uh, we'll also be going over the two by two and three by three matrix and finding the inverse in Python as well. So grab a notebook and let's get started. All right, let's uh, get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna import in NumPy. So import NumPy as NP, run the cell and I just started it. So it'll take a second. Uh, while that is running over there, I'm gonna start a comment. So I'm gonna start off with doing a two by two example and now imported NumPy, it's there, awesome. Uh, so let's call this matrix A and we're gonna say A equals NP dot array. And then in over here, we'll have seven, four for the first row and then five, seven as the next. And I believe that's the same numbers I had for my slides. I'm recording this another day, so. Apologize if it's different. Then we're gonna do a underscore inverse equals, and you just do np dot lin dot inverse so dot inv. 
and pass in A. And then let's print this out. So print our A inverse. And yeah, I think this is uh, the same as the slides a little bit earlier. Uh, 2, 0.24, negative 0.13, negative 0.17, and 0.24. Remember, um, these are going to both be negative now, and we swap these, which in the slides are both were 7, right? So now let's take a look at a 3x3 three three example. I didn't show you guys the manual calculation of 3x3. Three three. Um, it's tedious, right? And uh, the focus on this video is Python, not specifically doing a 3x3 three three inverse, but I'll show you how we can do this really easy. So we'll call it our 3x3 three three B, and we'll say B equals NP dot array. And then inside over here, let's build out our 3x3 three three array. So move one, two, three for our first row. Then our second row, what we can have in here is zero, one, and four. And then lastly, we'll have five, six, and also zero. And that is our B. And then uh, same thing, right? So find the inverse, right? We already did this with A. So just replace all these A's with B. It's the same code, right? And uh, we print out our B inverse. So print out that the results. Right, and that is our inverse on the outside of things. So literally um, one line of code, right? np.linalg inverse pass in your matrix done. I don't want to make that just into a video, right? Is this, this is basic. Um, so let's go into some of the properties, right? So properties, and uh, we'll get through that. So I'm just gonna copy over my comments and we'll go through these. So the first one, a raised to the negative one times a equals a times a raised to the negative one. Again, inverse, I just put that there. Equals i, which is our identity matrix. So what we'll say is we'll start with i1. That's gonna be np dot dot and we'll have a and a inverse, right? And if we print out i1, prints, I one, you'll see over here, we have one, one, and this, these are essentially zero, right? E to the negative 17. And that's our identity matrix, right? So we have one there, one, and then zeros everywhere else. Okay, now uh, let's take a look at I two, uh, which is gonna be the opposite. So we'll say I two equals NP dot dot, and let's do A inverse, so A inverse, and then A like this, right? So we have both of those over here, and if we print it out, we should get the same results. So print on i2, right? One, one, and essentially these are both zero each. And that is our identity matrix, right? And uh, cover identity matrix in another video. So you want to learn a little bit more, but pretty easy, right? Left to right, the diagonal is all ones, everything else is going to be zero. So let's take a look at our next property, right? And uh, well, maybe I'll just show you this identity matrix, right? So we'll just say NP to I. Um, there's two ways to call it an identity. You could do I or identity. I'll just do I really quick. We'll pass into button. You can see 1100. Zero, zero. Although I mentioned identity video, I prefer just putting identity, but eh, whatever. I is fine here. So let's take a look at this example, right? AB, we take the inverse of that. That's equal to uh, the inverse of B times the inverse of A. So uh, we'll change up our uh, matrices over here, or matrices over here, and we'll say A equals NP dot array. And over here, we'll have two, one, our first row, and then our second row, we'll have five and three. And then I'm just gonna copy this code, we'll make a new B. So B is over here, uh, and we'll make this a classic one, two, three, four, nothing too crazy. And what we'll do is calculate the inverses for each of these. Again, just to reiterate how we do that. So let's say A inverse equals NP dot lin alg, pass in our A, right? And I should have put inverse here. So like, why did I get error? I forgot about that. It's been a long day. Recording at 8 30 at night after work day. So uh, we'll be inverse also on this side of things. So, first thing we want to do is find AB. So, just calculate these together. 
um, we can do AB equals NP dot dots, A and B like that. Then we want to find the inverse of AB. So AB inverse equals, let me just copy this code, right? Pass an AB this time. I was going to copy it, but you can literally just put B there. And uh, now we can print this out. So just to show you what this AB inverse looks like, right? So it's a negative 11, 4, 7, negative 2.5. And then what we want to do is uh, multiply A inverse and B inverse. So uh, we'll say like result equals NP uh, dot B inverse and then A inverse. He uh, prints out that result. And look, negative 11, 4, 7, and negative 2.5. All right, let's take a look at our next example. So we'll say the transpose of A raised to the negative one, which is the inverse, is equal to the inverse of A, and we transpose that. So let's jump through that. I uh, will have A T for the transpose equals NP dot transpose pass in A. And I know I haven't covered a video yet on that. So um, what I want to do for you guys really quick is just show you this transpose. So here's A like that. And then if we pass in A transposed, you'll see it's two, five, one, three, right? So kind of switching that around. Again, I'll have another video on transpose. So don't worry too much about it. Just kind of talk about this property. Um, okay, so we have all of those over here. So we'll say A transpose inverse equals NP equals np dot lin alge dot inverse snr a of t and i am on a roll today so i'm typing errors but all right so at inverse equals np lin alge inverse at awesome and then we'll have over here a inverse t equals np dot transpose of a inverse and just to show that both of these are going to be equal, right? So first, let's print out A of T inverse. So we get 3, negative 5, negative 1, and 2. And then print out uh, other one, A inverse of T. You can see 3, negative 5, negative 1, and 2. So just going back, right? Transpose of A, take the inverse of that. That is equal to the inverse of A taking the transpose of that. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, hopefully that video will be out soon too. Um, it's in my pipeline of videos to make and uh, probably shortly after this. Awesome. So uh, let's jump into our next example. I will say k of a raised to the negative one equals one over k multiplied a to the negative one or inverse, right? So let's uh, go through that. We'll say our k value is going to be two and uh, we'll say k a equals k times a right and actually let me make that capital a so we have that now and if we print out k a right it's just multiplying everything in our matrix by two right so if we go back to our normal a over here um two one five three right um four two ten six right Basic, we just multiplied everything by two. All right, uh, let's find the inverse now. So we'll say K A inverse equals N P dot Lin Alge plus K of A. And uh, I N V. All right, so that's our K inverse. And we'll say scaled results equals, and we'll say one divided by K times, and we have our A inverse, like that. Awesome. And then print out both these. So first we'll print out our K inverse. And you can see it's 1.5, negative half, negative 2.5, and one. And then if we uh, print out our scaled results, right, we'll get the same exact uh, 1.5, negative 0.5, negative 2.5, and 
and also one. All right, and our last property can be a very basic one. Maybe we, I should have made this the first one. Right, inverse of a, and we take the inverse again, it's gonna be equal to a. Uh, so what we'll say is a double inverse equals np dot lin alg dot inverse and pass an a inverse like that. Right. And we'll just print out double inverse. And we'll also print out a. So print a. And just to show you that these are the same, 2153, 2153. So pretty easy, right? Inverse, and you take the inverse again. We go back to our original form. So yeah, that was inverses. Um, not too bad, right? On the basic level, np.linalg inverse pass in your matrix, you're done. Um, and uh, I showed you a few of the properties. So you can see and it raised to negative one inverse times a equals a times the negative one inverse equals the identity. We went over a b, right? The inverse of that equals uh, inverse of b times inverse of a. Then we jumped into the transpose of a raised to the negative one equals uh, inverse of a, and then transpose that. And then down below, k a raised to the negative one inverse, right? Is one over k times a inverse and then lastly inverse inverse again we go back into our original matrix and yeah i think that will cover it well that's it for the inverse of a matrix hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned something new make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, we're uploading at least two to four different data science focus videos every single week and if you want to continue our linear algebra playlist i have a few videos linked down below in the description and a playlist over here.